So one of the things that um, we should be impeaching uh, Donald Trump about, at the very least, I mean, there should be, I, I mean, I don't even know how we've had extensive hearings on this, maybe some, but there should be more. Um, and I guess on some level, this is somewhat encouraging, just that it says that there are some people involved in the Customs Border Patrol that have some measure of humanity. But when we talk about the sort of like, and certainly there has always been a policy that when um, parents come across the border with children, and if those parents are engaged in activity that is a felony aside from them coming across the border without documentation, any type of felony or misdemeanor for that matter, or violation aside from them coming across the border, um, like running drugs, like trafficking, then you see children separated from their parents that existed underneath the Obama administration that also exists um, in our, just our carceral state as it were. It is also the case that it's been reported that Obama administration officials contemplated the idea of making just crossing the border illicit enough that they could justify separating the children just by uh, basically an executive order, just by a uh, prosecutorial discretion. We will now uh, consider crossing the border for the first time. Uh, uh, to be in and of itself a criminal violation that would subject you, you uh, from being separated from your children. Uh, they thought about it literally for five minutes, according to the reporting, and then just like, no, that would be too heinous. Here is a, um, a high-ranking officer with the El Paso Border Patrol Union, Wesley Farris, describing what it was like to separate migrant children from their parents in a new frontline documentary. And we should remind people that it's unclear whether this is continuing, but to the extent that it's not, we still have hundreds, if not up to like 1500 children who have not been reunited with their parents. This is kidnapping. Here is that uh, custom border officer. A high-ranking officer with El Paso's Border Patrol Union, Wesley Ferris, told us he objected to the initiative. I had to separate children from their parents. That was the most horrible thing I've ever done. You can't help but see your own kids. Well, put us there when, when you had to do that. The last one I did was a young boy. I think he was about two. It just the, the world was upside down to that kid. So when, when the contractor tried to take him away, uh, he reached for me. And he climbed up on me again, and he was holding on to me. And so that, that, that one got me a little bit. That was tough. I said at that one, I'm not doing this anymore. I won't do it. I went back to the supervisor, and I told him, I don't, don't, have, don't assign me to do that anymore. Did you complain up the chain? Well, I wanted to. I mean, I, none of us were happy about it. But everybody around me was just doing exactly what we, we all were told to do this. That's a little chilling. Um... There's, there's, see that dynamic uh, everywhere in society. I imagine that's going on a lot at the at ICE. Horrible. They're just following orders. Good Where for have him, we man. heard that one before? Yeah, good for him. It's important that uh, for the the broader information war to get that type that, of voice out. Yeah, people see and that modeled. We'll also say that it is uh, public sector unions that keep that guy from getting fired now. That's exactly right. 